Surprisingly, no, I thought I would, but the only reason I would have was because my family didn't support me before because of it. But other than that, I didn't lose any friends because of it, which was a really good idea. Because I, I like my friends and they're supportive and they're nice and I really like them having them. Okay, I would say since fifth grade. The board just had people moving. <laughs> different and weird and I was so young so I didn't really know what it was but like through middle school I then developed it and figured out what was happening so probably telling my family that I didn't want to be the person who I'm meant to be because they had this I guess vision of what I was supposed to be at least my mom did because like it was yeah <laughs> sorry um, yeah, because my parents just had this certain vision that they wanted for their child. And it was just like, I didn't want to be that certain vision they wanted. And so I felt like I was disappointing them because of it. I would say don't limit yourself to what your parents think you believe. They believe that you should be. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because you are you and you should like it. And try and fit into something your parents or friends think you should be because you are yourself and the best version of yourself and that's what I believe that you are. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> You're the best version of yourself that you can be and you shouldn't let other people limit that. So how has your life changed since you've come? Um, my life has changed. I don't really feel drastically because I can't really do what I want because my parents won't allow me to. But I have the support from my friends and like they become more supportive and like literally all my friends from middle school that I still talk to changed how they pro pro uh, talk to me now. Like they use the right pronouns, they call me by name, which is really uh, nice to me because that's who I want to be and it's really helpful because it makes me feel like I'm so 